India's e-passport seva portal has been shut for five days. Now remember, uh, the passport portal is inaccessible to citizens and cops is what the government has said. But importantly, the government says that this is regular maintenance. It was planned maintenance in fact. In fact, if you go on the passport seva website, it shows a planned maintenance advisory. In fact, this notice was put out, uh, the statement also uh, was tweeted by uh, the passport department on uh, the social media platform X. But the bottom line is that if you wish to reschedule your appointments, that uh, aspect is unaffected is what the government has said. In fact, my colleague Mohammed Ghazali, who tracks the external affairs ministry for us, is joining us live. So what the MEA has said essentially, Ghazali, is that your appointments will not be affected. See, uh, MEA has clearly said that perhaps all these maintenance services for the citizen-centric uh, services is often planned in advance. Right. And this is not that uh, this passport seva kins maintenance operations are happening for the first time. This has happened earlier as well. And uh, since it is uh, well planned in advance, so the passport seva kins or the concerned authorities are aware that there will have to be rescheduling of appointments. So there is a kind of contingency plan with all the uh, regional passport officers or the RPOs under whom the passport seva kins are operating. So uh, what the MEA believes is that perhaps this will not impact uh, the services a lot, even if the rescheduling has to happen. It can be managed very well. But yes, the notification is out on the website that since when, uh, till when these services will be suspended for maintenance. So citizens will not have to, uh, uh, they will not be uh, uh, harassed for this, but uh, it, it, it is a time consuming operation. Maintenance does take time. This is not happening for the first time. And they have contingency plans to reschedule the appointments. And even if uh, rescheduling appointments are in bulk, even then, uh, there is a plan B to sort that out and there will be no delays in issuing or processing the passports after the maintenance services are over. All right, Ghazali, in fact, uh, break it down for our viewers. When I go on the Passport Seva website, it shows that uh, planned maintenance advisory as soon as I go on it, but I seem to be able to access all the options on the portal. Uh, so if one has to reschedule one's appointment, what should we essentially do? See, as of now, you can't access the services on the website as well. The intimation will come from the passport seva kins that by when the operations will resume and they themselves will inform you that what happened to your previous appointment, whether that's whether that has been rescheduled or not. So all the intimation will come from the PSK's online services mm. on your email or the concern number. Okay, so that's an important point that you are making, that the intimation will come uh, from, the, uh, from the passport authorities because, of course, as you rightly pointed out, many services on the website cannot be accessed, including checking the availability of the appointment. So that's an important point that the intimation will come uh, from the passport. Yes, you have a point to make, Ghazali. Go ahead. Yeah, so this is for people who have already made their appointments. So for them, the intimation will come from the Passport Seva Kids website or the web services. For making new appointments, as you're saying that you can't avail any services, you can't have, uh, you can't access the options right now. For new applicants, for new registrations, and for any new uh, uh, applicants to avail any services, they'll have to wait till uh, the maintenance is over and by the next date when it gets operational. So the, for new registration, for new application, and for any uh, for any new applicant to avail any new services from the website, they'll have to wait till the maintenance is over. But, but for all those, the pre-existing applicants who have already applied for appointment, they had got an appointment date, if their appointments have been rescheduled due to the maintenance services, they will get an intimation through on their registered phone number, mobile number, and as well as on their email IDs from the PSKs.